Hi, Mart here and today I want to show you how to make quick frame by frame animation in Krita. And I want to talk about what are in-betweens and how to use onion skin and timeline in Krita. So let's start it. Okay, first thing you have to do when you open Krita is to change your workspace to animation. So you can see a timeline, onion skin and animation docker. To do so you have to click on this little icon in the top right corner and select animation. After you select this you should see timeline down here and onion skin and animation docker here. So let's go quick through these dockers one by one. The first one is timeline down here. You can create timeline for every single one of your layers so you can compose animations together like uh, you, you can separate animation of foreground and background like the main character and some environment behind him. It's pretty simple to create uh, to add new timeline for a new layer just click this little plus and select add exist layer or add new layer and it will just simply add the layer so you have a new timeline for your new layer. If it, make, if it makes sense, I hope it does. I hope it does. Okay, the second docker is the animation docker. This one is like the management docker, so you can set up the length of the animation, set up the frame, set up the speed, and stuff like this, and play your animation so you can see what you've done till this moment. Now let's go for the onion skins. So, this is the really cool feature. Uh, you pretty much can't do animation without it because uh, this one little docker allows you to see the frames from the future and fr frames from the past. This allows you to to create in-betweens so when you create some pose on for example frame 1 and the second pose on frame 5 you create another pose like in between that's like the in between pose on frame like 3 and thanks to onion skin you can see these two frames you can see all these you can see these two frames on the frame 3 with different colors so you can see the change what has happened here and you can create a middle pose for this one Okay, before I forget this, when you create new frame here on timeline, uh, on the layer docker, on the, your layer you, you're actually using right now, if you create the timeline for the layer, there will be a new little icon, the light bulb, and this icon represents the onion skin. So if you turn it on, that means on this layer you will see the onion skin. So for instance, if I'm gonna draw something here, and create new keyframe here. See, now I can draw here and see what I already drew in the past frame. So this is how onion skin works. Okay, now we have all what we need to make our first simple animation. So let's start it. The first thing I'm gonna do is to create some object I want to animate. For this one I selected this little simple face just to I'm gonna draw just oval and these little eyes and just the mouth and that's all. That's all I need for this simple face. So now I want to know how long the animation should be. So for this one I selected like 15, 15 frames. 15 frames is good enough I think. It's really short and simple animation, so it's our first animation, so I do something crazy because it has to be simple and quick. So I select the 15th frame and create new frame on this frame. How you can see the onion skins already working because you can see this face I already drew, but now it has like this red, sh red shade. Now I have to decide what the final state of this animation will be. I don't know what I think like this. My the 
my initial idea was to create some kind of melting face, you know, so just probably go with just an eyes and brain and some some little bit of goo under it or something like this. You know, like the skin that melted down on the floor, just a little bit of goo on, on the floor, or something like this, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, now let's create our first in between. So we have the what we got is the first frame and the last frame of our animation. Okay, and how you can see the onion skin, the green ones are the in the future and the red ones are from the past. You can change these colors in the onion skin docker, like the right color and left color. It's pretty intuitive. Also, you can change the opacity of the onion skins by these blue blue slide bars. This is the second frame in the future and this is the second frame in the past. But you don't have to really change it because it works fine in this default. Maybe later in the animation when you have way too many frames, it's really good, it's really good to uh, turn off the turn off the range of the frames that you can see just like in the one in the future and one in the past yeah this helps a lot now we have to do some transitions so I'm gonna create the new frame on the I don't know like sixth seventh frame something in the middle probably the seventh when it's <laughs> the 15th frame animation okay uh, okay to do do some transition I have to figure it out what's the middle point of this animation so it's the face should be kind of melted but n not not yet melted you know so let's figure it out okay so I'm just gonna draw this m half me melted face and yeah from this part it's starting to be a little bit boring to comment and maybe watch so I will speed up the video because it's just on and on just uh, create in-betweens and in-betweens and just fill up the gaps to create every single frame it, you don't have to create every single frame because when you create the one frame every frame after it will, it will look exactly the same so I will speed up this one and enjoy the progress say something later about about exporting the animation and how to put it together and so you can play it as the video or GIF or something whatever format you prefer okay So now when I'm satisfied with my animation, how it looks and everything around it, I want to export my animation. To do so in Krita, you have to click on File and Export Animation. Now you just select the, the compression format. I prefer PNGs because, well, they are lossless and I don't know, it's just... I prefer the PNGs. This will export your animation into sequence of PNGs. It, but this will create one file for every frame. So it's good to create some folder so you don't have mess on your computer. Okay, and after it you can just I don't know put it in Blender and export in some video or in other software you're using. It doesn't matter or create GIF from it. Okay, so I think I've covered everything I wanted, so thanks for watching and I hope it helped. See ya!